it is uh, my privilege to welcome you all on behalf of science and technology and also on behalf of university of kashmir to the very first reconstituted committee meeting of expert committee of climate change of dst in fact climate change program is being implemented by dst from more than a decade for which i will be giving you a brief uh, to all the members uh, after some time but we thought of initiating this particular interaction deliberation at a place uh, at kashmir wherein i mean which is the focused area in one of our mission nmc and just now when we were having interaction with the vice chancellor madam we were just saying that uh, climate change is handled mainly by women and in nmc which is the acronym of one of the mission she is hidden nmc we call it it is she so it, this word was coined by dr akhilesh gupta only so uh, without taking much time i feel to have a kind of introductory round before we proceed with the next uh, agenda item of our uh, program so i think we can start from here over to you madam it's an honor for me to address you as vice chancellor university of kashmir at the first meeting of the reconstituted expert committee of climate change program of uh, dst first our sincere <coughs> thanks to the dst for choosing uh, university of kashmir as a venue for this important exercise we are equally grateful to professor talat ahmed for the same uh, i consider it a privilege to speak uh, few words about climate change uh, science uh, it's now unequivocal that human influence is causing climate change making extreme as a layman i can say not being an expert in it causing climate change making extreme events more frequent and more severe we in kashmir this year experienced some recent hot extremes such as temperature to <coughs> 35 degrees centigrade and continued for several days <coughs> and was witnessed after several decades so i am sure that uh, this committee has a very important mandate and uh, as a researcher as an academician i have always seen that projects like this have got great influence on framing the government policies i am sure that today also uh, the projects that will be screened will have influence on our government policies as uh, you know the earlier speakers uh, throwed some light about the uh, dst working and about screening of these important projects i have been listening to professor talat ahmed Uh, for a long long time in this university in different programs and i am sure that today's exercise will also be a fruitful one and as i said in future also any type of cooperation you need from university of kashmir uh, you are always welcome and once again uh, we are all thankful to you for choosing uh, university of kashmir as a, a venue for this important uh, meeting our aim is to see that uh, how the whole country gets uh, their cells and uh, all the activities particularly now that uh, we are trying to work on multidisciplinarity so you have uh, uh, fortunately i am from earth sciences which is supposed to be the mother of all the sciences which uh, actually deals with climate so i will be very happy Uh, to be there and uh, with the help of all my colleagues uh, and the experts uh, because most of them i know personally also so i look forward and then definitely uh, kashmir university although it is uh, sort of isolated but it has done very well uh, in terms of the climate change we have the Uh, center for excellence in the glaciology and we will be visiting the center uh, with uh, lots of contributions which has come uh, from here and obviously from other parts and uh, now uh, almost every uh, and the uh, recently since uh, now that the jammu and kashmir and ladakh uh, have become separate entities so i am very happy that uh, professor mehta and his group 
they are going to start this activity in uh, Ladakh. Already very uh, good teams there from Jammu and Kashmir and then definitely from other parts of the country. Under NMSKCC, we have established uh, many center of excellence which are working in different sectors studying the impact of climate change in which climate modeling, uh, agriculture, pest and disease, ECRISET, many institutions are there with us. I will just show that. Major R&D programs are there. In total around 28 climate change cells already we have established and the network programs, capacity building programs, global technology watch group, vulnerability assessment and one very good program for the students which is Indo-US Fulbright Kalam Fellowship which was uh, initiated by DST only which is again a very very famous program and Indo-German Research Collaboration. Under NMC we have established three center of excellence one is in uh, JNK only I think Dr. Ramshu we are going to visit uh, him also if you have time ma'am you also please join us for 10 minutes that we have planned for tomorrow and other two are in Sikkim and Assam and then uh, the Indo-Swiss program on glaciology uh, state network programs already we have initiated for six states and we are going to initiate for another remaining six states and UT also just now I think uh, Professor Mehta was telling me uh, Vice Chancellor of Ladakh that there also we should try to initiate some programs surely we will do that because now that will also be added in our list and many more R&D programs.